I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. Miss Morganach, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. <clears throat> it must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. What's up, Ellie? I have my cat on my lap. Here we go. The fuck? Scrope? Who is Scrope? Alright, found the second note. Pumpkins. Oh, I think I know just the place. Hiding a note in a pumpkin, probably not the smartest thing to do. Down to the water's edge. Hmm, this had better not be a trick. <coughs> Thank you for coming all this way. The um. name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, May she rest in peace, uh, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black Family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Sounds legit. It seems this may help us both. I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Toast? Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. Oh, dear God. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, fuck, these things hurt. Hi. Don't kill me again, please. Oh, damn. 
damn it. They're not going to let me anywhere near this fucking thing, are they? This terrain is not very suitable. How about you come and get me in the water, you assholes? Oh, well, you can swim. You can swim. Oh, God. seem to be ah ow you bitch Yeah, I won't have to deal with you for a minute. Hold on a minute. I didn't want to lock on or do that. Y'all are tough sons of bitches, you know that? Bad frog. Damn it. Well, I'm getting prompts, but the only problem is. I didn't need to use that, but okay. Ow, my ass! Let 
it's nice to know that their health bars pop up. Let that. Damn it. Incendio. Burn you bullfrog. Why do I keep backing up? Stop backing up. I need a piece of toast. I suppose that's where it goes. It's a legit. Uh, why? I'm so confused. Uh, more confused. Lumos. Revelio. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Could it be a visitor? Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. the name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student just like you about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me, said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, twas to no avail. The I fuck? thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages. Oh boy, here we go. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Hey buddy, um, bad news about the ring. Hello Scrope. Thanks to you I was able to enter Apollina's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there. Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to House Elves. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. 
It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hey, your <laughs> game ended in the... You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the p sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Revelio. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Oh, damn it. Ah! Bugs! Yeah! Spiders hate fire! Fuck you! Intramuros. eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Yes, yeah, so you just got taken out. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. I'm still lost. What the fuck is happening? Oh, she was talking about this. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. No shit. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. There we go. Spiders. The fuck? Um, that might. That might be the one that probably beheaded him. Considering its size. 
Ow! Hey, you getting pissed off that I'm killing your babies? Uh, hi. Burn, bitch! Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Honey, they've been fucking. Alright, then we go up here. There we go. Yeah, right, splendid. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Revelio. We meet uh. again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Oh, fuck. These guys again? Jeebus. Ow, dick. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Ah, no. Uh, shit. Oh, bitch. Fuck you. The big one's awake now? Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um... I didn't think that was actually going to work. Let me guess. What? Okay, thank you for taking out the other one. What, did I hit a critical spot on your body? Okay. I... Okay.
fuck? Can it be? Is that a picture of... What's his name? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Okay. Um. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Ah, okay. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Well. Oh, that's going to be the end of this part of Six Bucket Idea, Six Bucket of Game, setting off. See ya! You need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. To be continued.